developer with an Xcode and Interface Builder tutorial on how to create a simple navigationally based application that will work for the iPod, uh, iPhone, and iPad. Uh, to do this, as I said, we will be using Xcode where we will be typing in all the code and then Interface Builder which will be linking up all the actions. Uh, we're going to be testing this application with the iOS simulator that's provided with the SDK. So let's jump right into the code. Under Xcode, we're going to create a new project. And we're going to choose view-based application. Uh, this will only work if it's a view-based application because the code requires a view controller. So just, again, view-based application, choose. And let's name this test nav app test navigation based application save and here is our app uh, if we're building one right now I you see it's building and it's opening up with simulator And it's installing in the simulator. Sorry, this takes a while. Okay, here we go. It's launched. As you can see right now, this is just a blank screen. So we can change that. Basically, what's going to happen, the final product of the application, when you open it up, it's going to be, there's going to be a button. And when you tap the button, it'll load up a new page. And then, one, and then on that new page, it's going to be another button. And then once you tap that button, it closes the new page and it goes back to the original file. <clears throat> so that's going to be the final, final product. Uh, quite a simple tutorial, not much code, but it's, it's necessary for most developers, I guess. So let's jump right into the classes. And if we just expand this real fast. As you can see, there's two groups of files. There's the app delegate. And then there's the view controller. Uh, we'll be messing with the view controller and adding code there because, as I said again for the third time, this only works for the view controller. So if you're trying this with a, let's say, window-based application, this isn't going to work that well, or it's not going to work at all, rather, because it requires the view controller. So let's first define an IB action. Make sure that you define this out of the interface declaration. And let's just name this ID action open new page. So basically, this interface builder action, when it's called, it's going to call the command open new page, which we're going to define in the main file here. And that's going to open up the new page that we defined. So let's go into the M file. And after the implementation, make sure this after the implementation, let's just create an ID, let's define this ID action open new page. And we're gonna first define. We're gonna first define it. So let's just call our new page. New page. That seems pretty fitting. Equals. Uh, by the way, make sure that this is a lowercase n. Equals two open parentheses. First, we gotta allocate it. So new page. Alloc, which is short for allocate. And then we're gonna init with nim name. So type in init with New name, new bundle, new, and then we're gonna close this up, and we're gonna close it with a semicolon. Now, next line: self present model view controller, and we're gonna call this new page with the lowercase n as we defined it here. And if we wanted, to, and now we have animated. And this is going to be a bool, which stands for boolean. So if we want it to be animated, we're going to say yes. If we don't want it to be animated, we're going to say no. So let's just, I think it obviously looks better when it's animated. So we're going to say yes, and close up the brackets, and end with a semicolon. Now this is all the code that we need for the action. So we're just going to close this up right here by closing these curly brackets. And that's all the code we need for the .m file for now. So now if we navigate into the resources folder, 
we see that we have two XIB files. XIB files are the types of files that are accessed with Interface Builder. We have the main window.xib and the test snap app view controller.xib. Uh, we're going to need that view controller.xib as if we open up the main window.xib. As you can see, this is just loaded from test app, test snap app view controller, excuse me. So this we really don't need to mess with this as everything that's going to be shown here is going to become is going to be coming from the test at nav at view controller to XIB. So let's open up this XIB file. And as you saw from the iOS simulator, it's just this blank view right here. Sorry about that. Let me open that back up. And here we have this <coughs> other file. So if we go to files owner. As you can see, we have the received actions, open new page. So basically, this file, this XIB file, recognizes the link that we created in Xcode called open new page and the actions right here. So basically, what we have to do now is create a button and then link that button up with open new page, this action, and make so when the user taps upon this button, it's going to call the command open new page, which obviously opens up the new page. And that code, that code was right here. So what we're going to do, open the library and drag in a new button. Let's just make this a round rectangle button. And let's call this open the new page. And then we're going to go to the files owner. And as you can see, open new page. And just press this, click this plus button, and click and drag to the open new page button in the view. And then we want this to make it so that when the user taps on the button, it's going to open up the new page. So all we have to do is click touch up inside. And as you can see, this action has now been defined as rounded rectangle button touch up inside. So now just close it and save, make sure you save. And now what we have to do is actually create the new page. So first, let's just name the new page. Let's name the new page, new page dot h. So we're gonna need a UI view controller subclass. And with the options, it's not going to be targeted for iPad since this application is not highly targeted for iPad, although it's quite easy to make it so. It's not going to need the UI table view controller subclass because we're not creating a UI table view. And we're going to need the XIB for user interface. So let's just name this new page.m and make sure that you also create new page.h. The location, add to project, everything should all be correct. So let's just click finish. And as you can see, we now have three new files. We have a .h, we have a .m, and we have a .xib. So all we have to do now is go to the view controller.m, and because we are loading this page over here, we need to make sure we import the page into this file. So new page.h, just click import new page.h, where you, in the beginning of the app, where you are the file where you create all your imports, and then Clear all tasks if needed, and build and run. And as you can see, it'll be building, compiling, building, installing. Succeeded means that there are no errors. And now let's just test this. If I click this button right now, it should load up the new view, which is at the moment blank. So let's go into simulator. Open new page. As you can see, it opened up the new page and there was a scrolling up animation because I set animated yes over here. Uh, just as an example, if I set animated no and save and clear all tasks. And